Fade him. <laughs> Howie here. Howie's Late Night Rush on RSN Television, Facebook, YouTube. Ooh, just got poked. Ah, right. Confirm. My very special guest, and you know what? I've known you, what, 15 years? <laughs> Folks, Rocket Report. <laughs> He's, uh... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you ever done that? You're, you're on the radio and you just kind of like, yeah. uh, you get the wacky zoo team and you're just like, nope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky the Port. Hey, you look a few pounds thinner, man. Yeah, man. I started working out and stuff like that. You, you, know? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I just started up here at a place called Balance Fitness in Tahoe and oh. I took a spin class. You know? Is that right? Oh. I did that once. We had a bunch of tequila one night and man, I, I had to spin for like two days. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it really looks <laughs> what, good on you. Man. What is that? What, you just ride a bike? Is you ride that a bike, you go nowhere. It's really depressing, you know? And you look at other people, you know, and they're just... Oh, hey. you hear that? That's our producer. <laughs> <laughs> she gets a little honor every once in a while. I, yeah, it's... My goal is that I don't want to weigh myself. I just want to, like, feel better and just look a little better. I don't, are you, like, really strict on your workout? Or are you, like... Yeah, you know, I try... Well, you know, it's, I saw a sign in the gym the other day. It said, go heavy or go home. So I was out of there, man. Like, boo. I looked like a cat like in a Chinese did restaurant. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you know, I've known Rock for a long time. He's a good friend. Uh, probably the only friend. Best friend, I guess. You don't mind saying that, do you? Not at all. I'm your only friend? No, no. <laughs> Wait, on, I, I just want to have you here and no other comic. Who's here? It was a fallout. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, uh, like, you and I both went through a really crappy divorce yeah. at the same time. Not we weren't married to each other. No, no, but, no. Uh, we but, were. No, it was a, uh, it was a women. So then, uh, <laughs> there you go. I got a call from you one time, and it was like 2 in the morning, and all you said was, hey, just give her whatever she wants. <laughs> That's what I told my wife. I go, I'll give you everything. She goes, it's not enough. <laughs> like, what? Have you weathered Did you ever go well? to court? Like, uh, like when you, that's the worst thing, going to divorce oh. court. You're, you're like the state versus Rocky Laporte. I'm like, she told the whole state? <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible. It's weird, though, dating now. You meet all these freaks. You know what I find out? You ever do the online dating thing? You ever oh, do that? Oh, yeah. Mm, guilty. You ever meet somebody online named Kim? Make sure it's not a 45-year-old Korean guy. <laughs> yeah. These are the things I'm finding out in the dating world. I don't even know how to, like, I was married so long that this one girl, she goes, what's your favorite position? I go, probably, like, middle linebacker, if I had to say. You know what I'm saying there, Brandy? <laughs> is it tough meeting, uh, uh, you know, new girls? I mean, after you got divorced, just dating again? I mean, is it the whole scene differently now? Or? Yeah, there's a lot of freaks out there, you know? Oh. Like, it's just weird. I mean, I like, like uh, the, the picture you have in your mind of what you, when you were first dating before you got married to after you got divorced, are, 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 are they just as friendly to you? Or are they, you know, do you still have a lot in common? I, you know what? It's weird dating at my age, you know, like with the receding hairline and a bigger stomach, but these are the kind of women I'm meeting. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> wacky stuff going on here. And you keep it down there, little doggy. <laughs> well, it, it, I heard it's a, it, it, if you get married again, it's sometimes it, it might make it a, I don't know if the tolerance level isn't as like it used oh, to be. Oh, they say it goes way, like you don't put up with nothing the second time, right? You know, you're like, hey, did you see my socks? And you're like, I'm out of here. I don't need this crap. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Never good. Folks, uh, Rocky the Port and uh, I don't know, who's, uh, Mark Price Mark is uh, Price. Uh, Skippy. Would you ever get remarried, Howie? Yeah, I think so. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think so. I'm trying to save up for my next divorce, you know, like I'm just <laughs> trying to sock a little bit away every week. You know what I do to get used to it when I'm out on the road? I have my friends come over and take more of my junk every week. <laughs> <laughs> Plan for the future. Oh, that's funny.